Madam uh, President, distinguished colleagues of uh, members of the panel, I have the honor to be part of. Madam Moderator, distinguished participants. Well, it's nice to be back in Athens. I was here roughly three weeks ago, but it's always good to be here and nice. And for that, uh, I'd like to thank the Black Sea Balkan, uh, Balkan Black Sea Forum. But my uh, thanks and gratitude for being here today goes to go to especially uh, to the president of the forum and to the co-chair of the forum, my all-time friend, Ambassador Christidis. Once again, thank you very much, President uh, Balakakis. Uh, especially for having given me the opportunity to participate in this year's edition of the forum, which is dedicated to a topic of uh, particular importance and uh, timely chosen. No need, I think, to demonstrate why I say it is both important and uh, timely. Suffice, I think, to simply say that uh, in this period when, uh, due to unfortunate developments in our region, I'm referring, of course, to the war in Ukraine, the issue of security is highly debated. But I would say that it may be highly debated particularly, and it is understandable, in its hard dimension. But one needs to remind that there is a particularly important economic dimension of the security. And when I say economic, it's, it's quite a comprehensive concept. Include, let's say, for example, there was a topic on the panel, on a previous panel, dedicated to energy. Everybody speaks about energy security. A few weeks ago, you had a, uh, a uh, workshop here dedicated to agro-industries, and I, that brings me back to the food, food security. Then we talk about migration. And we have to, or while we see now that especially in the media, you, we see the migration cons uh, show, uh, consisting mainly of refugees fleeing the conflicts and so on. But we should never forget that the, still the bulk, the majority of migrants are migrants motivated by economic reasons. So that's why when talking about migration, it also is related to the economic dimension of security. So uh, talking about the regional co uh, cooperation and integration based of economic geography, as our hosts suggested to, to do, within this panel is something which I find as most welcome. It's from uh, this perspective that uh, I'd like, I would, I would allow myself a few personal considerations, not necessarily as Secretary General of the BSEC. And with reference and focus on the Black Sea area and the Balkan region. Before anything, anything else, I would say that the experience so far clearly indicates that strong economic relations and cooperation and integration, be it via bilateral ties or multilateral, has not only been beneficial in terms of economic development, but it helped promoting stability, mutual understanding, and good neighborly relations that is security, very substantive security. Mention should be made in this context that uh, cooperation does not exclude competition. 
but fair competition, which allows for progress, not competition for domination. That's a key element, in my opinion. So these were actually the, the principles laid down as well for the foundation of the organization I have the honor to represent today in front of you, the Black Sea Economic Cooperation Organization, shortly BISIC, which, by the way, marks this year its 30th anniversary, a moment that uh, we would have liked. Actually, you have been actively prepared for that, preparing for that, to appropriately celebrate this 30th anniversary. But for reasons I already referred to, we all know, it was only partially be possible. However, looking back to the past three decades, one should recognize this organization has contributed to bringing prosperity in the Black Sea region, a region which is quite a complex one, actually a microcosm, with many sensitivities, to say the least, as far as it includes member states which are also members of the European Union, others which are members of the Eurasian Union, others which are driving, making efforts to join one on the other one. And not to speak about sensitivities which we find bilaterally almost in all the cases. But beyond that, and, and, and beyond that however, and with all this complexity, we had, and we should add also that uh, the BSEC, the Black Sea Area, in, well, Black Sea Economic Organization, covers an area of geostrategic importance, global geostrategic importance. And uh, it is not just a bridge, as some would say, but really the bridge between East and West, South and North. And the, in, my, in the previous panel, we got just one example about how important in terms of bridge this region is. The cable and the, the agreement just signed between Georgia, Azerbaijan, Romania, and Hungary to, for the transport of electricity. And in the current circumstances, it proves to be the only efficient way to provide energy for those who, because of the conflict, are now lacking it. So this is why I'm saying that the importance of the BSEC region is a, as the bridge, not as a bridge, between Asia and Europe. And yet, well, despite this uh, some timely, some time, as I said already, challenging mixture, the BSEC succeeded to be today the oldest organization in the region, and much more importantly, it has evolved into becoming the most representative and institutionally mature re re uh, economic organization in this region. In, other, in, in the wider Black Sea area. It is an economic organization, but the definition of economy given by our charter is very wide indeed, covering areas of economic development, customs, trade, customs, services, transport, agriculture, energy, environment, and so on. And there have been concrete achievements in this respect. I will not elaborate that much, just a few examples. And first, and I, I'm stressing it, for me it is an extremely important aspect. In spite of how, irrespective of such a complexity and uh, sensitivities which I was referring to, the fact itself that this organization succeeded and continued to succeed in bringing together around the, around the same table representatives of all these countries, in, including in this time which are the most adversarial ones, especially, well, I'm referring to the, again to, to the conflict in the northern part of it. That's an, an extremely important value of this organization. It's an extremely important achievement, in my opinion. Second, this organization provides a framework for the elaboration of policies, recommendations, and strategic documents to help 
member states to devise their best of the, 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 the most appropriate economic policy guidelines. I'm referring to the basic economic agenda, which has been adopted 10 years ago and which is now in a process of revision. We would have liked to finalize this, this revision and to come up with a, a new version of this uh, uh, basic economic agenda as a, let's say, as a gift to the 30th anniversary. But for reasons, the reasons which I was mentioning, we are not able to finalize this process. Hopefully, we'll do that uh, uh, in the first part of, next, uh, of the next year. Third, this organization has been main, making efforts towards facilitation of trade and investment pro promotion. Fourth, BISEC has been engaged in project management, inter alia through the BISEC Project Development Fund, this organization avails of, and the Black Sea promotion, Project Promotion Facility. Fifth, this organization promoted an intensive cooperation with the European Union. And, yes, very importantly, also promotion of a long, as, 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 close ties, ties with uh, observers and sectoral dialogue partners. Now, during on BSEC's experience and lessons learned so far, while looking at the same time at what has been achieved by other organizations and actors in our region, I would allow myself to come up with some ideas. First, infrastructure and connectivity, energy, environment, climate change are areas of particular importance for both the Black Sea area and the Balkans. And as a confirmation to what I'm saying, I'm not just referring to the BSEC. I was one month ago participating in the Ministerial Council of the Central European Initiative, and there as well, all the ministers were insisting upon this extremely important element, which is infrastructure and connectivity. And not to forget that many of the countries which are in the Balkans and also the Brexit region are also parts of the Central European Initiative. Uh, what I depicted myself since taking over the, the current position is that there is a need of a much better coordination and correlation between different organizations and frameworks of cooperation in our region. And I'm referring here, beside the BSEC, to, uh, to the CCP, to the Regional Council, Cooperation Council. I, and I th really think that there is room for synergies in this respect. As, and this is my second uh, remark, my second uh, 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 suggestion, we need, there is need for cooperation, correlation, and synergies with other regional organizations and international, regional or international organizations. I already referred to the, to the, to the Central European initiatives, but not to forget that there are other uh, initiatives or organizations or frameworks which also cover or impact on the Black Sea region and the Western Balkans. Just a few examples. First of all, the European Union. And by the way, the European Union avails of a, basic, a Black Sea synergy strategy, as it avails also of a EU strategy for the Danube region. I do see that there is room there for more substance. And here, countries, the countries from this region, from all the two regions, can push for, press positively, I mean, for the, encouraging the European Union to bring more substance in this respect. Uh, my, and still on this aspect, when I say that there is a need of better correlation and synergies, I didn't mention another quite new uh, framework of cooperation in this, I mean, in Central and Eastern Europe. It's about the 3C initiative, where from uh, countries like uh, Croatia, Slovenia, Bulgaria, Romania part of, part of this, our region. 
And uh, I was one of those who assisted at the birth of this organization. And in between, it was happening in 2015 in New York. In between, many ideas, good ideas, has been developed inside this, uh, such as, for example, an infrastructure uh, communication road, railways, and uh, highways, North and South Europe, from the B Baltic Sea to the Adriatic Sea and Black Sea. And there is also this, uh, this three, C si three, three C Cs initiative, a veils of uh, investment fund for this kind of projects three or four or five mil billion euros. On the other hand, we have the European Union with the trans uh, infrastructure, uh, big infrastructure projects. But I see that there is not the best possible link between these projects. And there is need to, uh, once again, to correlate and to, I would say, mutually reinforcing the capability to implement such projects. Uh, that has to do with the complementarity and mutually Adolo, reinforcing. Your time is up. I'm, I, need... I, I will finish. I only okay. have one. And to finish, there is need for long-term thinking as well as need for enhancing the project-oriented approach in both uh, regions, the Balkans. And again, I'm coming to the importance of the European Union and the cooperation of the European Union. But here, I allow myself to say that at least partially, at, at least from time to time, when devising ways and projects of cooperation between the European Union and this part of, the, of Europe, it may be good for the European Union as well to listen more to the local actors and avoid, perhaps, from time to time, too much of lecturing. Thank you very much. <laughs>